hello my name is gloria and welcome to my channel in today's video i have something interesting for you which is how to make journaling your superpower make journaling work make it work for you okay this is based off of principles i use already this is me having journaled for years and having streamlined the process into what actually works so in the video I am going to explain to you the concept of the keystone habit. Why some habits matter more than others and why you should start journaling today. And then the second thing I'll talk about is the three ways in which you could start using your journal today to transform your life basically based on the process of a keystone habit, how it shifts, dislodges, makes other patterns of behavior based off of one change right so you can begin to implement this habit and completely change your life move on to the next level become the best version of your identity shift so quickly so easily so simply then finally at the end of the video i will share my special tip the special tip segment as usual for those still watching i will share with you something that you can begin to do every week that will that will put you in the one percent okay the one percent of people who achieve their dreams attain their desires live their best lives just by doing this one thing and it's always in the small things it's always in the details that people miss out right so if you're interested in that let's go keystone habits what are keystone habits keystone habits are those habits which will shift, dislodge, and remake other patterns simply by implementing them. There are things that you do that cascade into other areas of your life. Once you implement the habit, it starts to benefit other areas of your life. Um, you've heard of this, like people who start exercising, begin to have more discipline in other areas of their life, start keeping time better, um, start being more um, responsive than reactive, you know, being kinder, you know, things like that or families which, who spend time on, together on a regular basis, for example, eating dinner together every day, they have children who are more confident and more do better in their schoolwork just by virtue of one small habit, okay? So keystone habits are like, I like to say this, the superfood of habits. Like you implement one habit and it cascades into all areas of your life. and it, you know on this channel it gets to be easy so the easiest thing ever is to just pick a habit implement it and watch everything unravel watch everything work out watch everything benefit from that and i love such things so when i learned about this keystone habits i was like yes yeah, sign me up sign me up journaling why did i pick journaling as the keystone habit for you to begin with and how to use journaling to benefit like how to actually journal to transform your life and transform everything, every single area of your life. Um, there was a study I read about where it said that, the study said that of the population, 83% of people don't have any goals, okay? And then 14% of people only have plans but have no written goals. And only 3% of the population have written goals. And then further, the statistic is that if you have written goals, you're 42% more likely to achieve your goals, right? So when I heard this statistic, I was like, that is so true. All my life, I've been a goal setter. I've been a journaler. I, you know, write everything down for some reason. Ever since I was a kid, like I got me a journal from somewhere and I used to write things down. So... And I wasn't necessarily even self-aware or conscious. I was very unconscious, very basic, as I talk about a lot. So I, I hadn't really taken responsibility for my life or anything, but I did re used to write down goals. I used to be like, okay, uh, I want good grades. Uh, I want to be fit. I want lots of money. I used to write them down. And somehow the goals would pull me up to their level. I wouldn't necessarily be the first place in class, but I'd be in the top 10 just because I had some goals. And the one time I actually did write down, I want to be the top in class, I did become the top in class. And then because I was not have used to being the top or used to the neural pathway, I quickly self-sabotaged, but that's, a, that's for a different video. So you goals actually pull you up to their level, especially if you have them written down because they create clarity and focus, okay? 
think about anybody you know who habitually lists down things they have this like navigation system where they know where they're going because they've subconsciously imprinted in their brains that this is what i want to do by writing it down so when i saw the power of habits of, of journaling and just writing things things down i was like people have to get in on this like if you're watching this channel you're a high achieving person and you probably already do some version of this whether it's jotting down like oh i'll do this next week or even having your planner even if it's digital i love digital stuff so if you're doing both digital and book planners like i have here you're on the right path now it's just streamlining it i'm pretty sure there are just a few things you're missing okay to so the second part of the video how do we journal in a way that makes it our superpower that makes it a keystone habit that makes it cascade into other areas of your life first things first always have a journal whether it's digital or physical where you jot down your ideas i always say this i can never run out of ideas when i first started youtube my problem was not even ideas it was just you know other things like oh fear of being seen oh comparison all that but ideas i had them why because if i pick up my journal for 2017 freaking writing down ideas all sorts of ideas whenever i get an idea i jot it down so i can never run out of ideas and you realize a lot of people they don't take advantage of it take advantage of the fact that we have such a intelligent uh mind that it knows how to make this whole thing be working when you're not even conscious of it. Like your heart is working, your liver, your kidneys, everything is working. You have no idea what's going on, but it's going on. You have a super brain and it's working. It's like more powerful than any supercomputer. So when you get ideas, sometimes probably you have a problem you've been ruminating on and God decides to give you an idea. And then you think about it a little bit and then something distracts you and you forget. That happens to me a lot. Like. I was thinking like oh my gosh I wanted to say something and then something else distracted me and I forgot what I wanted to say everybody knows that frustration like oh my gosh oh I really really wanted to say something so the same with ideas if you don't jot it down you're gonna lose it so every time you get an idea whether it's on your phone I love the app OneNote jot it down even if it's stupid just write it down whatever um, solutions you're coming up with write write it down any ideas jot it down that is what that's the first way you use your journal most people already know what they should do they know that they should eat healthy they know what to do to get uh, a promotion they know what to do to get a higher paying job they know what to do to get a fit body they know what to do to improve their relationships they know but they don't do it right it is said that if you just execute what you already knew you will be four times more successful just think about that four times so this is your sign from the divine to start journaling to have a place where you jot down your ideas the second part that the second way that you can use your journal is to track progress remember when we were talking about statistics before how 42 percent of people who write down their goals are likely to achieve them just by writing them down now here's another statistic that is going to blow your mind 76 percent of people who write an action commitment and do a weekly progress check-in or report they are 76 percent more likely to achieve their goals 76 percent i know this to be true this is why i i changed the way i set goals the way i write things down the way i journal I always set systems with my goals. If you've ever read the book Atomic Habits, you know goals give you directions, but systems get you to your goal, get you to this, your destination. If I had a system without goals, I'd still get there. Like if I just happen to study for one hour every day on a certain topic, you best believe by the end of three years, I'll be an expert at that topic. Okay, whether it was my goal or not. So systems will get you there. Goals will give you the direction and systems will get you there. That's why in your journal, when you've written down, uh, I want to study about my finances, study about finances, right? And then I get good at finances. Then you write, okay, three times a week, I will read financial books for an hour. Okay, that is your action step. That is the system. When you set goals, always set your practice chunk it down into practical steps we talked about this in a different video in the 
three ways to achieve your most ambitious goals video i said that you need to just deconstruct into practical steps because the way you eat an elephant is one bite at a time one spoon at a time so you're gonna do the system the action steps and then here's the the small thing that people always miss you're gonna do a weekly progress report or weekly check-in accountability is powerful especially with yourself you are learning to trust yourself your subconscious mind is like i'm a trustworthy person because i do what i say and i say what i do i've set the container and then the third way you can use your journal i talked about it in my last video is stream of consciousness i can't talk about this enough if you have a question you've been working on, something you've been trying to figure out, just try the stream of consciousness exercise. It's where you take down, you take a pen and you write down whatever comes to mind, whatever. You ask the question, okay? You write the question at the top of the journal. Um, the question is, how can I make more money? Then you start writing whatever idea comes to mind. Just write, write for about 10 minutes. Put a timer, okay? Don't lift the pen off the paper. Just keep writing. The more it doesn't make sense, the better. Okay, even if it doesn't make sense, if it makes sense, just keep writing. And do this often. It doesn't necessarily even it won't necessarily even give you an answer there and then. Like you might see something that pops out to you immediately, but it most of the time I've noticed it doesn't even give you like the answer right then and there. But one day during the week, the answer will just come to you like that. Like your subconscious mind is like, oh, thank you for the release. I've been wanting to release all these ideas. We are bombarded with so much information every day. And a lot of us don't have a chance to release it. Look at the work of Caroline Leaf in her book, okay? We don't have the chance to release all that information. That is what the stream of consciousness exercise does for you. And I assure you, if you start doing it, you will see amazing results, okay? Amazing. You'll start getting ideas like, like a bolt of lightning for those of you who don't know i have an affirmation manifestation e-journal it is so much more than just affirmations and manifestation it has the whole deal on manifestation from gratitude to being in the present moment to you know to start you off on this identity shifting personal development journey this is exactly what i did that got me from barely passing my classes to be an, being an advocate being a lawyer being a practicing litigant passing the bar in one go you know becoming that girl who can have it all you know so this is the thing that started me off okay i don't want you guys to be confused right and i always do more than is expected so with the journal the minute you purchase it you're gonna get a free training okay a free training on how to use the journal that's gonna be linked in the email and then further as the time goes on and i get your questions and everything that um you need to do to make this journal work for you i'm gonna do two additional trainings and these two additional trainings are gonna be part of my activated journaling course right activated journaling and inner work course it's amazing like if i knew if somebody would have taught me this then i wouldn't have had to flounder around you know make all these dumb mistakes and just catapult myself to the next level so that's what i want for you guys i want for you guys to just have the best experience doing inner work and journaling and identity shifting and becoming more and thereby attracting all your desires i hope you enjoyed that now for the special tip for the people still watching here it is check-in we talked about the check-in we talked about check-in okay and we also talked about how without systems your goals are pretty much useless okay because both winners and losers have goals but somehow the winners achieve them and the losers don't so it all goes down to embodiment and systems right if you can embody these habits you make them you do them so often it becomes unconscious so that this is now your default then you're winning okay so when you do the check-in i talked about weekly progress report but it doesn't have to be weekly you just gauge to see how it works for you i do uh three monthly reports i do monthly reports i do weekly depending on the habit i'm doing so for example you choose an embodiment like you want to read yeah that was one of the habits i installed i left you thought installed i installed it updated my software in 2021 
and I decided I was gonna be a reader okay uh, of personal development books I was a reader of fiction books now I decided to be a reader of personal development books because identity shifting says you, you become more you get more so I was becoming more and becoming the kind of person who knows who can embody who is disciplined so anyway books I said that I would read for 20 minutes every day and I had a timer for that and I even had an alarm because I had not yet embodied I was still a beginner so I needed all those things right now I just wake up and I know I'm gonna read a book so I used to do that and I put the timer for 20 minutes and I do it and I would track my progress now in the weekly check-in you're tracking which book are you reading how's it so far what do you feel about it? Is it is a good book what are you learning from it and then that's it and then you have I had a list of the books I had read so far it served as motivation I'm like oh my gosh look I've already reached 20 books so that is your special tip. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like such kind of content, feel free. Bye.